Hey everyone, it's Cameron from the Tech Overlord, and in this video, I'll be telling you about Microsoft's XNA. Um, basically, what XNA is, it's um, it's a way for C Sharp and sometimes Visual Basic developers to create games for the Xbox 360 and the computer without needing a major label or without being a company. You can be an indie game developer and still use it. So um, basically, to uh, to go through with all of this, you'll have to know some C Sharp, which I plan on teaching in some later videos. But if you don't know C Sharp, do not try what I'm going to tell you to do ahead. But um, to start, if you're interested, you will need to go to Microsoft Soft.com slash express and this is only if you don't already have Visual Studio if you do then skip this part and wait for the next but if you do not have Visual Studio uh, go to microsoft.com slash express and go to downloads and then download the 2010 version of Visual C Sharp Okay, and after that's done, go to Google, and only do this if you don't already have the XNA um, SDK. Okay, so just Google XNA 4.0, and then go to the top link that says Download Details Microsoft XNA Game Studio. You want to download and uh, install that after you download and install Visual Studio. But um, yes, so after that's done, and you already install both of those applications, open up Visual Studio and click on New Project. And also, I recommend that you register Visual Studio right away so that uh, it doesn't bug you later on and lock down the application until you register later. But, um, okay, so inside of Visual Studio, go and click New Project. Mine looks different than yours because I use a different version of Visual Studio, but click on New Project and then look for... XNA game, game Studio 4 and then simply select Windows game and then just name the game wherever you want and wait for it to create all the files Don't worry, it doesn't take this long usually, it's just because I have a slow laptop. Okay, and the files will open up. Uh, you will have content references. Uh, it's uh, basically where you put your game content because XNA manages the content by itself and compiles it inside of a special format and you'll have game1.cs and program.cs program.cs you I'll discuss that further later on in uh, the next video but you don't want to mess with that generally uh, it just manages all the startup and uh, game1.cs is the main core of the entire game and once again I will explain that in the next video so this video was just basically telling you how to download the applications and set it up to where you can create a empty game uh, just pay attention for my next video in that video I'll explain the structure of an XNA application and 
I will show you the basics of creating a game. So make sure that you learn C sharp first before you ever, ever try X and A. But if you do know C sharp, just wait for my next videos.